Hello, guys. A very warm welcome and, uh, to the session number 47. What a journey it has been. Now, in this lesson, uh, in this session, we'll be learning about Moraine Product. The title is in the, of the session Marine Product Export Development Authority that is called MPEDA. Okay, the abbreviated form. Uh, different commodity. The last class we have learned about different commodity boards, their structures and their functions. And now here uh, again, you'll be able to understand the ex the export potential of the marine products and make them uh, and make them aware. And you and by this, uh, the, we have the aim to make you aware of the working of the organization. After this session you'll be able to appreciate the, uh, the working, uh, the role that marine product industry plays and you will acknowledge the export potential that it has and it holds to this time. And what we'll be learning here, we'll be learning some introduction, we'll be having seeing the, what MPEDA is, the meaning of that, objectives and functions. In the session, all of these things will be covered, the session number 47. Now, as you all know, MPEDA is, uh, before that, some introduction let us have, India being a second most popular country in the world. And it is a peninsula country that is surrounded by three sides of water and just only one side by land. Hence, it has a lot, a lot of potential for, uh, for manufacturing, for developing this marine products. Okay, and uh, the, the, the India is doing its best to cater the growing demands for the marine product and then to harness the potential that this industry possesses. Here, uh, the, the main thing which helps India in this regard uh, in the uh, marine products is that its uh, location, it is located within the, uh, the, the Indian Ocean where uh, you know, uh, all the three sides being a peninsula country, it makes it the best position. It makes a, a best advantage, gives an advantage uh, to the country like India to, to, to explore to explore their potentialities in marine products. Okay, let us see what MPEDA is. It's Marine Product Export Development Authority. Please remember. M is Marine Products Export Development Authority. Please remember this. And again, most of this, most of whatever we have learned, the special, special uh, the exporting agencies and the export, the export promotion councils and the commodity boards, you've seen one thing in common that they are all our statutory bodies. And these statutory bodies are by the act of the parliament. A parliament, in the parliament it is discussed and the voting is done and hence it becomes an act after getting the accent, uh, after getting, sorry, after getting the assent, that is the permission from the, from the uh, president. And it was in 1972 that MPEDA was developed, so, though I think that it was developed, uh, the, you know, the, the very late, it could have been developed very early, but still this is what the information is 1972. Here, actually, in 1961, uh, it was converged into MPEDA and was established in 1961. There was some other body that was called as, uh, there was some other body which was looking uh, uh, after the marine products, but as I told you, it was not very comprehensive and holistic. And hence, a new body on 24th August, 1972, was established by converging all the older bodies that was established in the year 1961. Again, MPEDA is given, very importantly, MPEDA has been given total authority, total authority to do whatever it wants in order to promote the marine products. So that the export increases. The act empowers MPEDA to, that is marine product, uh, the export development authority, which we'll call as a MPEDA uh, in MPEDA, I can say that in that way, MPEDA to regulate exports and marine products. That complete authority regarding the marine product is being given an extensive powers have been uh, the, have been given 
to, uh, given to Marine Product Export Development Authority, that is MPDA, so that all these things, uh, uh, the, all these things is taken care of by the MPDA, and uh, and and so that it can support and sustain the exports. MPDA is given to third prescribe itself any matters which the future might require for protecting and augmenting the seafood exports. It, it has been given elaborative powers, extensive uh, powers, so that it takes all the interest, all the, it takes, uh, it takes into account all the important issues and make sure that our interests are protected as a country which exports and as a country which uses this marine product. You have objectives of MPEDA. There are many objectives of MPEDA, like they promote marine product industry to export, uh, to increase the exports, to promote all the varieties of marine product exports. Because uh, the sea, like the sea, there are so many marine products, okay? And uh, as I told, it's a very comprehensive, the body has a very comprehensive objectives, which does not include one or two products, but a variety of different uh, products that are available for exports and create a platform to notify the new measures and standards for fishing. As I told you, all everything is given. Uh, all the required power has been given to the um, to the MPEDA, hence they have they take new measures and standards for fishing because fishing is very important and integral part of the uh, marine products and their export potentialities and hence all the strict measures which helps the fishing industry has been taken increase in the economic stability provide certificate for exporters, farmers, and fishermen, this or this duty also falls under. Uh, this duty also is done by MPEDA. They provide the certificates to the exporters who want to export to the farmers who will help uh, in the, who will help MPEDA in exporting the marine products, as well as fishermen. Please, because it is marine, fishermen plays a very important role. Everybody cannot go and fish. Only those people who have got the certificate, only they can uh, go to the fishing grounds. Then increase marketing and infrastructure to upgrade the technology and development strategies. See here, increasing marketing infrastructure to, uh, it, as Impera has been given extensive powers, it's their duty and one of the objective is to make the infrastructure to upgrade, whether it's the infrastructure belonging directly, I mean, directly having effect on the production or indirectly on the administration. This is what the objective of MPEDA is, to increase the marketing and infrastructure to upgrade the technology and develop marketing strategies. Ega objectives of MPEDA, still few more objectives of MPEDA is improve the quality of production by implementing training and research center. This one good thing is that having extensive powers, they can take any uh, decisions. And there is one, the, the, there are so many training programs and research centers, training programs for the fishermen, for the exporters, for the farmers or other stakeholders. And these research centers to see that new technologies uh, can be uh, developed and these new technologies can be used for the bread for the better prospects of the Indian exports to other countries to implement schemes to provide support for industries and stakeholders they have many schemes which they provide uh, seeing the different uh, uh, which they provide different schemes for different people uh, which whichever suits to them those kind of schemes are developed and uh, the provided to the industries and other stakeholders to implement the code of conduct for responsible fishing to create employment opportunities. So MPEDA is also related with the employment employment opportunities because don't forget it is the one who gives certificates for farmers, if, uh, farmers, uh, exporters as well as the fishermen. So it's very important uh, to understand that they provide employment opportunities also. Thank you guys. This is it. I'll meet you in the next class. Thank you very much.